Hello everyone, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel. I typically do videos kind of like a crafty show and tell of all the stuff I get up to, be it cross stitch, crochet, paper crafting, lots and lots of stuff. However, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a kit parade. I have a ton of kits. I have an embarrassing amount of kits. I don't think I will ever get all these kits stitched. That's actually not true. I figured out if I did a kit probably every two months, it would take me a long time, but still within my expected lifespan. So that's why I keep going. So, um, yeah, I was never a huge kit person till maybe last year. And I started to watch cross stitch with Luda and saw all of her beautiful, mostly dimensions kits. Then I discovered mybobbin.com who sells beautiful kits from Europe at deeply discounted prices. I love the colors. I love the pictures. I usually love the fabrics. I just love kits. So I debated whether or not to do this because like I said, it's an embarrassing amount of kits. I think there might be a couple people out there who have as many or maybe more than I do. Um, probably people with a lot less. However, I think a lot of people enjoy a good stash parade. So if that is not for you, then this is not the video for you. But I will be doing a regular floss tube update in the next week or so because I do have uh, some finishes and I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm working on. I apologize for the light. I am in the basement. I'm trying every way I can to get this to be a good quality video and the only way I can do this that you can see the kits is for me to hold them up in front of my face. Um, so anyway, there we go. Today I'm going to do my dimensions kits, just the regular size, not the petites. That would be a whole other video. Um, my Christmas collection of charts would be a whole other video and my non-dimension charts would be probably another whole video. So we could be doing a four-parter here this week, but since we're all home and uh, we need something to do, this is what I'm doing today. So let's get started. Uh, the first one, this is an older Dimensions kit, and this is called Mailing, and this was given to me by my friend Patty. And it's beautiful. Um, I love the colors in this one, the yellows and the beautiful peonies on her kimono. And it's very similar to another geisha I'm doing with the peonies on the dress. So I think they will be a lovely match. And the kit came with the natural linen, which I'm not a real pro at stitching on, but I'm going to give it a go. My next older Dimensions kit is this one, Prayer for Serenity. Um, this, actually, I was thinking about this this morning and how this is very, this would be a good thing to stitch right now. Um, I had picked this one up at the thrift store and I mostly, like, I just bought it because I wanted the linen inside. It was $5 and I thought, well, for $5 for this linen, which was a natural raw linen, I thought that's a pretty good deal. So I picked up the kit and then I came home, took out the linen, and I was just going to pack up the kit and send it back to the thrift store, Sans Fabric. But look at those colors. They are so gorgeous. So I'm going to stitch this, but I'm not going to use the fabric. I really don't think it does so much for the design. So I have a uh, one of those Adas with the... I think it was called Bahama Blue or something like that, and it's got uh, it's light blue and white. I thought that would be nicer. So that's my plans for that guy. Flowers of Paris. I bought this last year for my birthday. A lot of my kit buying coincided with my birthday last year, so you'll hear me say that a lot. I got this on Amazon, and in fact, pretty much all of my dimensions kits I got off Amazon. Some of them I paid too much for because I didn't know um, and other ones I got a really good deal. So this one is very pretty with all its lovely spring colors. 
and it comes with a brown or a wheat colored Ada 14 count really really like this one next we have peacock butterflies this is so pretty I I did actually hunt this down um, it was on Amazon, but it was too much. And you know where I found it was Hirschner's. So if you're just starting your dimensions kit journey, uh, definitely look at Amazon, but also look at Hirschner's because Hirschner's probably carries the largest variety of dimensions kits and they're all just the regular price. They're not inflated. They're not on a super sale, but occasionally they do have sales on, um, their dimensions kits and sometimes they'll have you know like a coupon you can get 40% off one item and I think that's what I did with this one so pretty I just love those colors and it's on a cream colored Ada and those are the colors Paris hydrangea I got this on Amazon a couple of years ago also super pretty I had planned on starting that this year, but I don't think I will. I love, love flowers. It's probably my favorite thing to stitch. Flowers and landscapes. Um, the, I don't love people in my charts, but yet for the one like Mei Ling, if it's just one person, I don't mind that. Next up, Sorrento Hotel. When I, oh, there's glare. When I do stitch this, I'm gonna leave that out. And I'm going to try to put in um, the name of a hotel we stayed at in Avignon a number of years ago. You'll see if that works. But love it. I'm pretty sure most of these are still available. Twilight Silhouette. This one's very pretty. I love this artist. I think it's Julie Fain. And I have a Heaven and Earth design of hers, charted by Heaven and Earth. It was so pretty. It's on navy fabric. And here are the colors. It's a lot of like blues and blue grays. And it's navy blue. It's not black like it's showing up here. This is the problem of moving my craft room to the basement is there's next to no natural light in here, and so it's really difficult. It seems like everything is orange. Very pretty. Even my husband likes that one. Wildflower Wreath. I think I got this from Hirschner's. This is so pretty. Flowers and butterflies, and it's so bright and cheerful looking. And there's the colors. Oh, can you even... Like, it's just happy. I just I just want to stitch it, like, right this minute. So pretty. Oh, gorgeous. It's going to be hard, because now I want to do everything. Uh, Garden Steps, 14 Count Ivory Ada. Now, I'm not, I mean, I don't dislike cats. If somebody said, I have a cat and I really need it to have a home, can you do it? I would probably say yes. Um, I just, I have a dog. I also thought that this cat on the top step looked a little funny. However, the reason I bought this chart was a number of years ago when we were in France and we were in a medieval village and go down all the little cobblestone crookedy streets and often the homes will go there will be stairs just like this and little doors and there's always pots of herbs and little flowers on the steps and that's what this chart reminded me of so i don't even know if i would put the cat in it to be honest but oh i love it it reminds me of france so that was why i bought that guy poppy pattern oh my goodness here's another one that's just delicious Look at those colors. So I don't know that I'd look forward to doing that border, but I believe it's all half cross stitch anyway. 
And there again, look at those colors. So pretty and bright and cheerful. Just what we need. Poppy pattern. And then I see ones like this and I think, oh yeah, I'll just bang that one off. It's not going to take too long. And then six months later, I'm still working on it. Uh, garden door. Uh, this one also has a cat, as you can see. I really like this one. I like the shape. I like, I just liked the light in the picture. I just, it looked very peaceful and pretty. And it reminded me of a calendar that I had in the like late 80s, early 90s that was just, you know, very much like this. This kind of picture on there. So, so pretty. So I do want to stitch this one. It's just not in the, you know, I'm going to do it like right now. Village Canal. Again, I bought this one because it reminds me of a village I have been to in France. Um, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Those cherry blossoms. So nice. I used to have these in order of, you know, landscapes and butterflies and flower. And <clears throat> since I moved my stuff downstairs, I don't. Uh, the Art of Tea. I waffled on this one for so long because I look at it and I'm like, well, I do have other teacup charts that I like much better, but should I get it? Because if it goes out of print, then I'm going to want it. So I got it because Michael's had a 55% off coupon. Now our Michael's and none of the Michael's in my city sell the bigger dimensions kit, but the next province over, they do. So... I happened to be there with my husband and I said, hey, let's go into Michael's with my 55% off coupon and I got this one. So I'm not quite sure when I'm going to stitch it. It is very pretty. And in fact, even if I just took some of the, um, you know, the pictures out, like this is really cute. And I love this sewing one too. So we'll see. And again, the colors are just nice and happy. Glory of Autumn. This is just beautiful. I really would like to see this finished. Uh, right now I'm working on, which I didn't bring down, a peaceful lake house. And it's got the same kind of trees in the back. So this one is very nice. And there's the colors, very autumnal. So I certainly wouldn't start this now. I would probably only work on that in the fall. Garden bouquet. Look at that jar. It's just beautiful. And the flowers. So the light in here is not doing this any justice. This is so pretty. And the colors on the back. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Like you can see the water and all the shading on the jar. I don't know how... I don't know how artists do that with their mediums anyway, and let alone how it gets transferred into cross stitch and look lovely and believable. Flowers in a tall vase. This one was way too pale for me. I thought, well, it's pretty, but it just looks kind of, I don't know, insipid. And then I saw it stitched and I just, I immediately went and put it in my cart and bought it. Um, this one's really beautiful. And I got this for a really good price on Amazon. So what I did last year is I went to, I put everything on my Amazon wish list, and I checked every day because sometimes from third party sellers, the, um, you know, a kit might be thirty two dollars one day and it might be twenty two twenty five dollars the next day, and you have to jump on it because they lower the price as it gets down in stock numbers. And then I find when it gets down to about two, uh, two in stock, the price goes back up. So I learned to play the Amazon game for, uh, for that anyway, just that's what I learned from my kit buying extravaganza. Okay. Hummingbird and poppies. This was another one. I had to wait quite a while for this to come down to a decent price because it was a decent price. I didn't jump on it and then it went up for months and months and then it disappeared and then it came back and well worth waiting for because that is just so pretty. I love this one. And you know, this would be so nice if you changed out the fabric and did, 
just the sky blue fabric. And the colors on this one are so pretty. Ooh, I mean, they're all pretty. Cafe by the Sea. So this is one I, I do really like this one. Uh, however, I'm not sure I will stitch it. It's sort of down at the bottom of the pile. Um, I'll just kind of wait and see. I always open my kits just to check that everything's there because, you know what, they do make mistakes sometimes. And if you wanted to turn around and sell this later and it was missing something, well, forget it. So I do always open my charts, but um, I just try to keep them nice and neat because if I do decide to sell them later on, at least I can verify that everything is there, but I can sell it as a complete kit. Page print. Butterfly and Daisies. This I wasn't sure about this one at all. I liked it and I didn't like it. I like the flowers. I like the fabric it's on. I didn't like the butterfly. It's just too dark. So what I thought I would do is I could really jazz this guy up. I could use different colors. I could use metallics. Um, there are a lot of things I could do to this to make it you know, like something that if I stitched it, I'd want to keep it. Because I like everything else. I just thought the butterfly was a little meh. And I think I ended up getting this one for a super good price too. So I picked it up. Because as you know, as soon as something goes out of print, all of a sudden you just have to have it. Like you want it. You didn't like it before, but now you love it. Okay, hydrangeas and shells. It's the colors in this one that got me in the flowers. It's very, very pretty. And I've been trying to get the Janlin kit. I think it's called Room with the View. And it's a window and it looks out. And there are hydrangeas outside the window and then it's a beach scene. But I can't seem to get that one anymore. Um, I thought it would be nice to go with this one. But this one is very pretty. And it just has a very nice feel to it. Like, I think it, um, you know, the best pictures are the ones that provoke a reaction in you. Hopefully a pleasant one. So this one, I don't know. I just, it feels very peaceful. I guess because it's a beach scene, and when I think of beach, I think of being on vacation, and you're just more relaxed. Okay, now this guy, a couple of years ago at our, at the uh, Dollarama stores in Canada, which is a chain of dollar stores, they had got... Um, dimensions kits so it was crazy I mean some people were getting dimensions gold kits for four dollars um, most of them were the regular dimensions kits so I managed to get a couple and this was one of them so I paid two dollars for this one and really I thought this was even before I was stitching before I decided I like to stitch kits, so I thought, well, you know, the picture's nice enough, but what I wanted was the Ada, because this is a, it's a lovely mint green, which doesn't really show up, but I thought, well, this would be great for cards, but you know what? I actually really like the picture, so I think I am going to stitch this up as a kit. Parisian Bicycle, is what it's called. This was another... Dollarama find. I think this one was four dollars and it's stitched on black tulip drama Look at the colors. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So I do I really like the stitch on the black But I saw somebody on Instagram and they had stitched this on a sky blue fabric and oh my goodness It was the most beautiful thing like a sky blue aqua kind of thing. It was so, so gorgeous. So I think that's what we're going to do. Very, very nice. We'll get to the bottom of the pile, which is good. Parody Strength and Truth. Uh, this was another one I wasn't sure that I really wanted to stitch. Um, but I thought if it goes out of print, I'm going to want to stitch it. So it did go down to a reasonable price, and I picked it up. Um, yeah. 
nice colors. I saw somebody stitch this on Instagram too, and it's very lovely. And I know my husband will totally be okay with seeing that around when I get it done. Okay, the last one is Indian Peacock. Beautiful, beautiful colors in this one. And this is another one I picked up over in Quebec at the Michaels there for, yeah, it was a 55% off day. So I think I paid $18 for this, which is pretty good. Um, very nice, beautiful colors. It's stitched on a tan linen. Very, very nice. And there you have it. So these are my just regular dimensions. I am going to stop the video because I have to go, well, I don't have to. I'm going out for a walk with a friend and I'm desperate to be outside and to have some conversation. So I'm gonna post this one and then later on I will film my dimensions gold regular size and then we'll just keep going from there. So thank you for checking out and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, then you'll know when I'm putting up my next round. Thanks. Happy days, friends.